straight from Tet Rouge. Meanwhile, we have a car without a front wheel, and that's the LM of Gona, Petit and Rosten. I think that's uh, Patrick Gona at the wheel. So three wheels on my wagon. Just look at the wheel nut going with it. And the uh, see the metal wheel nut bouncing. The tyre goes into the Armco barrier. That can be very dangerous indeed because it can bounce back in front of the competitors. Fortunately, it didn't happen this time. And you see the. Uh, Ferrari of Eric van der Poole approaching. Then a spin from Derek Warwick in the pit road. A big embarrassment for Delvoy. Having to execute a three, or was it five point turn? Finally gets it round. Derek had really been pressing on, trying to make up for a lot of lost time after that car had had the various ignition problems and electronic problems which had hampered it really. It had no chance of victory, but it was still hoping for a top 10 finish. So Warwick brings his car into the pits. And let's just recap on some of the retirements. We saw the Ferrari, the Evans car, stopped. That was out of fuel. The Langton O'Rourke Holmes Porsche GT2 retired at the end of uh, the third hour with a uh, engine failure. And the Belmondo Gunon Bernard was another early retirement. Then came this significant retirement. The Swede there, Stanley Dickens, a former winner, having a very big accident indeed at the corner called Indianapolis. The whole rear of the STP car ripped off, but fortunately the Swede was able to walk away. There you see the car spinning down the Armco. And so that machine out of the race. Bad accident taking place after 58 laps, just a quarter distance. But meanwhile, at the front, it was still the Jones Reuter Verse car in the lead as another off course excursion there going around a slower car for the factory GT1 Porsche. That red car leading GT2, Rook Racing, Bruno Eichmann amongst the drivers after the demise of the Marco Chevrolet with engine problems. And we'll get another chance to look at that uh, big moment for the factory Porsche. Not sure if it, I think it's Bootson at the wheel there of the number 25 car and damage to the front spoiler as it goes round the Saad Toyota. And uh, that was a very vital, significant moment in this race. It's actually hand stuck at the wheel because that necessitated a pit stop.